The Structure AI tool is a great way to boost details and add clarity to your photograph. This tool has two sliders. It has an amount slider that starts out at zero and it can go up or down, and then it has a boost slider. I'll go ahead and begin by increasing that amount slider. I'll just push it pretty far to the right. This tool adds a touch of contrast. You can see that some of the black areas in the photo got a lot darker, but it also brings out those details and I can see a lot more of those water streaks that I could previously before I added this tool. The boost slider will intensify the effect and it's actually a pretty aggressive tool. If you use it and push it really far, it can kind of give your photo an HDR-like look. So if you're going for that, then maybe you'll want to use that boost tool. But you can kind of play around with the two to find a balance uh, to see if there's maybe a good kind of in-between. I'm not really going for that HDR look here. I just want the details from the raindrops to pop a little bit more. And so I like what I've done here. It's not a very subtle effect, but it doesn't look like I've over-processed anything in the photo. Now you can also move this slider to the left and this basically does the opposite. It just starts to kind of remove the details and just soften the look. Kind of gives it a little bit of a glow. It doesn't really blur the image, but it does make it a lot softer. And the boost slider, it doesn't really do so much when you move that slider to the left. So that boost slider is going to primarily affect the amount when you push it up to the right. A really nice thing about the Structure AI tool when working with photos of people is that it tends to ignore the face, so it's not going to add that structure to the face in the image. Let me show you what I mean. This is a good example because I have a lot of things here that are in focus and it would be kind of neat to see the detail pop a little bit more. So I'll take the amount slider and I'll move it. I'm going to move it all the way to the right just so we can see the effect. I'm going to zoom in on his face. And now I'm going to toggle this off and on. And it's really not adding that structure. There's a tiny bit of luminosity that's added to the face, which is actually a nice effect. But the details are not brought out in the face, which is exactly what I want. So I'll toggle this off and on with that full view so you can see what it did. This is too intense. I'd like to scale this back a bit. But now I'm able to bring out the details and it automatically masks the face so I don't have to go in and do that manually. But do keep in mind that if you move the amount slider to the left, it is going to affect the face, so you will see some of that. And that's actually not a bad thing because maybe you want to add kind of a softer glow to a look and you do want it to be applied to the face. So um, if you increase it, it will mask out the face and it won't apply it. If you decrease it, you will see some of those effects in the face.